Hey guys, so today I'm going to make some kosher dill pickles, but this video is really about how to figure out the weight of your water and produce and spices that you put in there so you can figure out exactly what percentage of brine you want. For years people have tried to teach others to ferment and they say, oh for a quart use a teaspoon of this, or for a pint, use, you know, uh, uh, some kind of measurement that's not very, very accurate. And that is with the salt primarily. So we weigh our, our produce that we want to ferment, we weigh the water and any of the spices that are in there so we can figure out exactly what percent of brine we want. So with these still pickles, I want a 4.25, 4 and a quarter percent brine and that's for a real kosher dill pickle. It'll start clean and then it'll become a quarter sour or a fresh pickle, a quarter sour, half sour, then when it's full sour it's really a pickle. So what am I showing you here? I'm showing you salt. And this is the reason we don't just say a teaspoon. I've got three different kinds of salt here that are all uh, able to be used in brining. This is a kosher salt so it is more flaky. It weighs less than this table salt. Now if you're going to use table salt you need to use one that doesn't have iodine in it, but this has smaller bits and it's heavier. And then we have sea salt. I actually collected this myself and it's the heaviest of all even though it's got the least amount of volume. So you can see if I say use a teaspoon of salt Depending on which salt I choose, I could be at a 3% brine, I could be at a 5% brine, and I think that's why some people are failing. That and the fact that they don't know how to measure, how to figure out the volume, right? It's science. This isn't just an art, it's also a science. So what we do is very simple. You get your vessel. This is I don't know, a half gallon, half gallon jug, and I'm going to put it on the scale and zero it out. And then what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to layer some garlic in there and then I'm going to clean my cucumbers and put them in there. These are gigantic cucumbers, um, so they will take a long time. Some of them won't. These will go at the top, but, you know, near the end of the season. And this is more about how to measure and less about uh, making the kosher dill pickle, although I will send put a link down there be below so you can see the exact steps. So anyway, I'm going to get to cleaning and smashing, and we'll come back in a sec. All right, so we've got the cucumbers in here trimmed up. I fit in as many as I could, but I'm going to remove them in a minute, and then I'll really get in there and stack them really, really well. If I can fit another cucumber in, I'll weigh it and figure that out, but I don't think I can. These are just so big. So right now I just have my cucumbers in here and my garlic. I don't think I'm going to add any other spices. Just going to keep this simple. Now we're just going to add the water. Remember, we're still weighing this, right? Let me back you up so you can see the scale. And this is part of the measuring process that I follow. Again, this is a half gallon. And you want to have your water cover everything that's in there. And I will go grab some, um, I think I'll grab some bay leaf because that tree right there, out that window, is a bay. So I'm going to grab some bay. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back with the bay. And so what's the deal with the bay leaves? Um, well, you can use different kinds of leaves that have a lot of tannins in them to keep your pickles very crispy. I like bay because I have it. I also have horseradish leaf, which I could use, and those are gigantic leaves. So if I have like loose spices that want to come up, I'll use a horseradish leaf because I can really get it in there and tuck it in like a blanket. You can also use oak leaves. You can also use grape leaves. I'm sure there are other ones. Um, I just know that those are the ones I have access to. Grape on a limited um, 
time frame because I grapes don't grow year round where I live and I don't grow them myself. My friend does. So anyway, blah, blah, blah. So now we know that we're at um, 3650 grams. I'm measuring in grams because it's more exact. So let's figure out what a 4.25% brine of 3650 or 49 is going to be. All right, so here we are, 3649 times 4.25% equals 155 grams. So I need 155 grams of salt to put into that container. Now remember, when I put this container on there, I teared it out, which meant I removed the weight of the uh, container itself. So the glass isn't being measured. What's being measured is the cucumber, the bay leaf, the garlic, and the water. So now I'm going to remove that water. I prefer to do it this way because I think I get the salt mixed in better. Some people will just add the salt directly to this container. I don't like it. I don't think it works as well. So let's measure out some salt. All right, because I don't like waste, I'm going to use all those different salts that we measured out earlier for fun to look at. All right, only 14 grams. And my preferred salt to use is kosher. I would suggest doing it this way and not putting it directly into the container. I mean, putting it into a smaller container. Um, otherwise, if you overflow, you're going to have a problem, and this container may be too small. Stop for a second. Give it a bump. 23. Almost perfect. All right, 156. That's good enough for the government. So I have the water that was in there before. I'm taking my salt and I'm dumping it in. Remove this. All right, I just happen to have this near me. I'm going to go ahead and give it a waggle back and forth. Everything here is very clean. The dirtiest thing here are my hands, but you know, as a large garden gardener. I can't even get rid of the dirt anymore. But this is, I mean, I've got two of these in the fridge right now, so I know it's going to work. Okay, so we put the salt in there. Look at the difference in color. So now we're going to fill it up as much as we can. All right. And now we'll go ahead and put a cover on it. And that's how you measure for the salt. Um, if you have any questions about that, how to figure out the measurements, let me know. Uh, for the rest of you that are wondering about how the uh, pickling here goes, is I'll put a cover on it, make sure everything still sa stays submerged, and I will check it every few days, and we'll start to um, see the fermentation happening. We'll start to, this will clear up, the salt will clear up. And we'll be able to see it pretty well, and then the fermentation, the bubbles will start happening. And it's a really, really lovely process. But right now, you want to make sure that everything stays under that water. Anything floating on the surface is going to mold. And if you get mold on top, you get mold inside. And don't try to just scrape it off and eat it. I don't care what your grandma did. If you have mold on top, you have mold in there. So just dump it. Cucumbers aren't worth it. Um... So, yeah, you could use, like, this as a weight, but it, it would overflow. But I'm going to try just to see if I can, because those cucumbers are so big, I'm just going to see if this, if this will work. I'm going to put this lid on just very loosely so it burps itself. I'm going to leave it on the counter and check it on a daily basis. And, uh, and anywhere from, I don't know, five days to a week or so, you will have kosher dough pickles. Every year I seem to find Senorita Verde. She grows back in my garden, and here she is again. Hola, como estas? So, she, well, she's going to be Senorita Roja here soon, but she approves. Senorita Verde approved. All right, that's how 
you measure product and brine percentage. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.